going on guys? My name is Christoph and today and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about some of the struggles of becoming a YouTuber. And first off, if you guys haven't subscribed, do so. Anyways, just so you guys know, my regular my regularly scheduled videos will be starting back here in a couple weeks. Um, anyways, let's get on with the video. First off, what you should do first when you're setting up your YouTube channel is you should make your logo, channel art, and your about me section. Basically, your about me section is like what you use to like tell people like what you upload and that sort of thing. Um, I'm just looking at my notes. To get started, be sure and do research to figure out what you want to do on your YouTube channel. Whether it be from vlogs, to gaming, to reaction videos, or top whatever videos. Um, um, then you should mess around with different editing sites, such as one would be Sony Vegas, or um, at least the one that I use, not the one that I'm actually re currently recording my video on, because that is my laptop, and my laptop doesn't get very good quality videos. Anyways, that's besides the point. For me, I use Streamlabs OBS, which it isn't the best, but it's also free. So, I mean, there's really nothing that can go wrong with that. Um, but, uh, it does crash a lot. That's the only thing. Like, if you guys know this YouTuber named T. Martin, like, months and months and months ago, he was making a... You, a Fortnite YouTube video. I'm not sure exactly what for, but it was probably about like some weapon coming to the game or something like that. And um, um, Streamlabs OBS had crashed, and so it was kind of devastating for him because everybody's like, "You faker!" Like just making a really bad look of himself. Anyways, um. Once you figure out that, um, um, like I say, I'm looking at my notes. The, the main thing people use it for is OBS. The main thing they use it for is when they're streaming because they can get a face cam. And Mike, for, um, talking and seeing the person. One small channel that uses this app is, if you guys don't know him, he actually goes to our school. His name, his YouTube channel name is Kato Fazbear. One, and then once you are done with that, what you need to do is keep a weekly or monthly schedule. If you need to take a break or make a video explaining so explaining that if you need to take a break, make a video explaining that so you don't lose revenue, look up business. Make a video explaining that, so you don't lose revenue. Look up business tactics to gain people's trust. Do not lie to them. They will find out about it. If you get a sponsor, keep, keep the truth out and don't say that it's a good product if you will, if it's not, 
if you do that, you will lose a lot of subscribers for things for things that you did not ex you did not expect. For example, the YouTuber T Martin and Pro Syndicate were recognized as the owners of a betting of a underage w betting website known as it it was also a scandal mind you it was called um CSGO Lotto and um just T Martin alone they he approximately got like 1.25 million dollars because of it and that is not something that you want to do granted he has um he has come back from that, but, um, like I say, their channels were barely affected by that, um, and they also did not face any, um, legal charges, as far as I know, um, except, like, a massive fine, um, um, the main thing that I wanted to point out is that if you are truthful and keep working hard at it, you will be, you will most likely become a very successful YouTuber and you will succeed. Um, another thing is keep your viewers, um, like, in on everything, like, um, Um, sorry, like I say, I'm looking at my notes. Um, keep all your viewers interested so they will still watch your videos and will likely be excited for when you upload a video. Um, also, um... Like I say, if you need to take a break, say for like family time or whatever reason, um, be sure and let your subscribers know that, so that way they will not unsubscribe from you. Um, anyways, um, and also be sure to say when you're planning on uploading videos again. And thank you, and have a good day. Love you guys so much. Peace.